It has been an absolutely stunning, stunning day here in Vancouver. And this is how I look after I just climbed out of the ocean. Well, it's been about an hour since I climbed out of the ocean. <laughs> I went for a end of day sort of sunset swim today. It was so gorgeous and it was so warm that I just could not resist. Um, so yeah, I just got home from a long, hard day slaving over a hot beach towel. Um, that's not to be said that I didn't get a workout though. Um, I actually went to the gym this morning with my um, workout buddy and we did a good arms and, or pardon me, sh yeah, shoulders and arms workout. And um, when we were done I thought, oh, I want to go swimming later today. <laughs> How am I going to do it? Because uh, we really beat the heck out of our shoulders, that's for sure. Um, and the first time I went in the ocean, sure enough, um, I went, uh oh, <laughs> I'm all the way out here at the farthest buoy. How am I going to get back now? <laughs> My shoulders are sore. Um, so that was fun and challenging and it was good because uh, I needed it. And, uh, and it was so much fun that um, when I should have been going home, I was still eyeing that ocean and going, well, I think I'll go in one more time. <laughs> so I'm a bit of a mess right now and um, I have to jump in the shower and stuff. But before I do that, I think I'm going to have dinner. Um, and one of my favorite things to make is on the menu tonight. So I'm going to sort of make it with you guys for fun. Uh, I'm going to grill some bison. Uh, some of you call it buffalo. Um, as far as I have been, as far as I understand, uh, buffalo is really only an African animal. Um, but the, the North American animal, which is called bison, um, people seem to uh, tend to call it buffalo for some unknown reason. Um, so anyway, I'm going to have some grass-fed organic bison slash buffalo and some uh, grilled uh, asparagus, grilled red pepper, and a lovely green salad. So let's go cook. See you in the kitchen. Okay, well, first things first, green salad, right? Well, um, I'm not very experimental, nor do I have much time in my life to fuss around. So um, there you go. <laughs> green salad, done. Um, open the box, throw it on a plate, that's about enough, um, grab my flax oil, flaxseed oil and balsamic vinegar that I keep in the fridge, it's almost empty but shake it up, make sure it's good and mixed, throw it on, that's salad, done, easy, <laughs> delicious looking too if you ask me. Oops, where are we? I can't get this right. There you go. Anyway, okay, moving on to the next stuff. Okay, so the grill's warming up out on the patio, um, but to prepare the asparagus and the red pepper for the grill, I basically just uh, olive oil. Light, I like the light, light tasting stuff. I just drizzle on some olive oil. Not too much on both, uh, just a little bit. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my hands to get the olive oil all over the stuff. I don't really stand too much on ceremony. My hands are clean. Who cares? Um, you can use a brush too if you want, but what's the point? Um, so I just make sure it's totally coated in olive oil. And um, we just quickly wash my hands. Now I pull olive oil. The next thing I'll do is, the next thing I'll do is um, just put some cracked, cracked sea salt crack sea salt on them and some cracked black pepper flip them around flip them, flip them, flip them Do the same thing on the other side and as far as I'm concerned they're ready for the grill that's all I need on them the meat, uh, the meat I just put on uh, without anything, anything at all. Um, it's perfectly delicious without any barbecue sauce or um, extras added. Um, if, you know, afterwards, after it's cooked, I might add a little bit of salt or pepper, but um, I really don't, I don't like meat, uh, grilled meat with, with all the flavor covered with sauce, so I don't put anything on the meat. So now we're gonna go up to the grill, slap this stuff on, get it cooked, and um, We'll be ready to eat. Wow, that was fast. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, well, so the meat, I just slap on there. Just a little piece, right? Just slap it on there for three minutes per side. Uh, just 
just doing side one at the moment. We'll be back as soon as it flips over. So the meat's only about three minutes per side. All right, time to flip. Mmm, it's gonna be good. I just like the, my meat medium rare, personally. So um, I do the meat first because the vegetables only take like two minutes maximum. Um, so I get the meat done first and it just can get cool enough while the veggies, veggies cook. Okay, that should do it for the meat. I don't know how much you guys are seeing right now because it's getting dark out here. Um, now I gotta put the veggies on. Hold on, I the lid work. I'm gonna have to burn here. Lid on. There we go. Veggies on. So these are only gonna need like two minutes max. Um, it's gonna be super fast. So just slap them on, give them a minute, and then turn them over, and you're sort of done. Let's just do that. Oh, I made a lot of asparagus, eh, for one person? <laughs> I like it, so that's fine with me. More greens is better greens. All right, so let's put them up now for like a minute, and then I'm gonna just flip them quickly. Minutes up. Quick flip, oops, I'll lose them in the rail here. Quick flip, flip. Maybe not such a quick flip, but a flip all, all the same. Come on, babies, flip over. You don't want to cook red pepper too long. It gets mushy. It's got to be just like a little bit of black on it. Um, and so crispy. So like a minute, a minute maximum, maximum. I can't stress that enough. Okay. Minutes up, heat off. That's the end of that. Stop them all back on the plate. You guys probably can't see anything now. I bet it's too dark to see this, but you know, what can you do? Anyway, um, yeah, done to perfection. So crispy, just a little bit, little bit, little bit of black edges. It's gonna be delicious. Okay. So there you go. For me, that's dinner. Quick green salad. Takes no work at all. That took me all of what? Five, six, eight minutes maximum to make. And delicious, nutritious, filling, great meal. Lots of veggies, a little bit of protein, lots of greens, and some good fats with the, um, with the flax oil and olive oil and really tasty as well. So, you know, after a hard day at the beach <laughs> and working out, and stuff like that. Um, for me, this is like the, the best way to end it is with a good healthy meal like this. So, um, and for anybody who says you don't have time to make a good healthy meal, again, how long did that take me? I mean, if you want to include two minutes for slapping the salad on the plate, it took 10 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, 10 minutes ain't long. Um, takes longer than that to make craft dinner, I think. Oh, did I just mention something awful? I did. Anyway, so um, yeah, 10 minutes and you're eating some healthy. So I'm going to go now, have my dinner, jump in the shower and wash the ocean off of me and get a good night's sleep and get right back at, um, well, I think tomorrow i got to actually work, which is too bad. <laughs> oh, well, it can't, uh, it, can't be, um, it can't be Lotus Land here all the time. But uh, the minute I get back down to the beach, I will be there. <laughs> I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Bye.